Hi, this is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design. Today I'm going to be giving a tutorial on how to use Google Sites. First of all, what is Google Sites? You can see from the web page I've pulled up here from Google Workspace, Google Sites is used to effortlessly create impactful team sites. What does that mean? Well, primarily Google Sites is used to create team sites, intranets, but it can also be used to make public facing websites and business websites. So throughout this tutorial, I'd like to also show you how to create a Google site, how to use Google sites, create a, a web page, a home page, and then uh, how to continue to work with your Google site until it's ready for launch. So let's start here. Step number one is going to be creating and naming our Google site. So we're going to go to sites.google.com. That is the URL for Google Sites. You can also access it from Google Drive if you like. Now for Google Sites, you can click on the blank button here, or sometimes there is a bottom right button here to create a site. Let's create a blank site. Our next step is to give our site a name. So we have the document name here. We can call this workspace site. Now for the site that I want to create, I'm going to model it after the Google Workspace public website. So now here, first, I added my site title, right? Now I'm going to show you how to create and organize pages. Here is the pages panel on the right side panel and you can create new pages. Let's create several. The about page, for example, a services page and a contact page. Now with Google Sites, you can also move these pages just by drag and drop. So if I want to change the order of them or if I want to make subpages or a drop down menu in the navigation, you can also use the three dot menu to copy pages. It adds subpages to specifically selected pages. You can also hide pages from the navigation or delete a page. So those are all the options that are available to, to you in the pages menu. Next, let's work at adding text and images to our web page. Go back to the home page. So this is our home page for our Google site. But let's take a look at Google Workspace site. They have a big title and a paragraph. I'm going to borrow that text, come back to my site. I'm going to delete my header for now. Let's have a complete white blank space. I go to the insert menu here and I can insert a text box. You can also do this by double clicking on the content area and selecting text box here if you wish. So now I have this text box and I will paste in my content. I can select all and remove the formatting and I can center it. Now, you'll see that the formatting is quite different than with the Google Workspace website. First of all, let me drag this text box to reposition it and center it. Next, we're going to explore themes. So on the themes panel, we can create a custom theme. I call this the Workspace theme. Uh, we're going to add a logo here. Let's upload the Google Workspace logo. And we're not going to upload a banner image. We're going to select some custom colors like white, off-white, and let's choose another off-white. Do this one as a unique hex code, F6. It's a little bit slightly off-white. Now we have our fonts. From our fonts, I'm going to select Outfit, 
since it's similar to that which is used on the Google Workspace website. So we'll go back here. Outfit. Okay. And now we'll create our theme. So it's looking a little better. However, I'm going to further narrow this in. And I'm going to work with the themes panel to customize the text a bit. So the text for the title right now is bold. I don't want it to be bold. I want it to be a little bigger. And for the normal text, um, yeah, I'll make that a little bit bigger too. I'll make the line spacing 1.5. Maybe not. Maybe I'll expand this back out. There you go. That looks nice. Kind of similar. Maybe the spacing is not that large for the normal text. Go back to 1.25. Okay. We can also use the insert panel to give us specific elements of our page. So things like spacer. Now I can add spacing above this or below this paragraph. And I can insert a button. Get started. This is our call to action. And we can move that button, drag and drop it right here. And we can change this to being centered. Go back to themes, go to components. Here we have the button component, and we can make this blue. Okay, so we're getting closer, right? Let's insert an image. The insert, images, upload. Upload this from my computer. I've prepared the image already. I've downloaded it. And I'll center it here. There you go. Now there's quite a few content sections to work with. And some are using this slightly off-white section. So if you want, you can just create another, use a spacer first, actually. Spacer and text block. Uh, we'll just copy this forward a bit. Another spacer. And we'll change, I can move that in the same text block. Save me some effort. And I can make this the off-white, like that. May have another section similar to that. Duplicate this, position it to the left, left 50%, and upload another image like this laptop. Position it like that. We'll change this back to white. We'll add a footer that is the gray. Call this the web design workspace demo three. Okay, let's preview our site. So here's our preview. Uh, the title is doubled up there. Let's get rid of that. Need both titles, or we don't need the logo and the title. Okay. Uh, you can see when we're scrolling that the navigation bar switched to a, that black color. Let's change that in the themes. Go to navigation. Change it. From transparent at the top, we'll change it to lightly off-white, or maybe that F6 color. Let's see how that looks. That yeah, looks pretty good. We could keep it as white, but I think the off-white stands out a little bit. Yeah, let's go back for white. <laughs> I'm flip-flopping here. Okay. I mean, that's what the Google Workspace is like, so it's similar to that. Okay, so we've created a Google Workspace similar uh, website experience with Google Sites. Let's see if I haven't covered anything. So we added images, uh, section layouts, signed our page. We used some themes and some custom theme options. We previewed our site. Okay, and then now we need to check the sharing settings. So we can check sharing settings. It is a published public website. So they can see the site after it's published. So I just need to hit the publish button and give this website a name. 
I think I had already made a workspace site, so let's call this free, hit publish. There you have it. We've just created a Google site together that looks pretty good in a short amount of time. So this is how to use Google Sites, and this is how to create a public-facing website with it. So I hope uh, you got to understand how to use the elements of, of Google Sites and to see how intuitive and how easy it is to get set up. Now, this isn't the end of the of the journey. You'll you can also after publishing the website, you can launch it on a custom domain, and that is available in the site's setting options. So if you need help setting up a custom domain, I have another tutorial for that, I'll link below. So that basically goes from step one to launch. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in to my Google Sites tutorial on how to use Google Sites, and I hope that was very helpful. Let me know your feedback uh, in the comments, and thanks a lot for your support of uh, my small business and my small channel here on YouTube, and I'll see you around. Thanks a lot. Bye.